do your research do your research do your research go do your research do your research and as i always say do your research do your research my last thing is just take some time for yourself don't waste your money wasting money But it gives you all these little pearls, you know, like just kind of buzzwords on what you will see on the pants, which is our certification test. All right, you guys, so I have three untold tips that no one is talking about that will definitely help you do amazingly well in your PA school interview. Wear the colors of the school that you're interviewing for. Do your research. Be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Sometimes you have to pass on the things that look really, really good to get to something that is great. If you're in higher education, make sure you take some time for yourself. If you're in life, take some time for yourself. Go out there, have some fun, decompress, and then get back to work. It's it's a lot, it's a lot. A lot of studying, a lot of hard work, but it is well worth it. Do I need a bachelor's degree or four-year degree to get into PA school? Yes, that is the answer. Yes, 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 you need a degree. With a little bit of a caveat. Did you like that? A caveat. <laughs> Things like scribes and um, you know, like PSRs, which is what I did, where I was just entering information isn't necessarily as appealing as somebody who's actually dealing with like directly with the patient. For those of you who are still in school in your PA journey for your first semester or you haven't started yet or you're going to start next week, I am with you guys. I remember that time. I remember midterms and you guys are going to make it. I have the utmost faith in you. So definitely make sure that you have a great support system in your life and also make sure that you tell them that you're appreciative of them. I need you to know you are Awesome. On average, a PA makes about $102,000 a year. Number one, you've got to start your personal statement with something that's immediately, immediately going to capture their attention to the point where they're going to want to keep reading. And I know when they say, oh, you know, they want a minimum of 3.0, yes, they want the minimum. That's like the minimum that you can actually get to apply, but they really aren't looking for the minimum. They're looking for higher than that minimum because they want people who come into their program to just bolster their program's reputation. Five simple ways that you are gonna smash your group interview. Don't be scared. Go with your gut. Don't be rude. Don't be fake. Don't compare yourself. Comparing yourself with other people is just so totally, completely useless. When it comes down to it, it's about how are you providing care? Be, be you an NP, an MD, or PA. If you're providing poor care, then you suck. Like you're a horrible provider. Know how long you want to be in school. If you're not about being in school eight to 12 years, <laughs> don't be a, a, a physician. If they're not willing to answer those questions, that's probably not a school that you want to attend. You know, if they're trying to be shady about, oh, their accreditation status. Oh, okay. No, you don't want to be there. Both parties in the relationship have to understand what it's going to take to become a PA, what it's going to take from you to just maintain your grades, and what it's going to take from them to help and support you on this path. There are three things that I do believe that you should absolutely do if you want to be a PA. So fill out a CASPA application or create one if you haven't already done so. Number two is to go ahead and take your GRA because most schools or every school should be transitioning into a graduate level PA program by the year 2021. And then thirdly, go ahead and get your healthcare experience in and shadow some PAs as well. I did not know who the founder of the profession was like are you serious Adana? you're trying to be a PA and you don't know the roots 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 are on fire go to APA's website they will have information on the history of the PA profession um, the founders the first military guys that went into the PA program um, and just get all that information people won't understand you know, like you cannot make them understand or believe what you're saying. All you can do is be true to yourself. You cannot make them understand or believe what you're saying. All you can do is be true to yourself. Method. The thin line between humility 
and being cocky. And there is a thin, very, very thin line. When you guys get into PA school, know that you are going to be constantly learning, which is a good thing. Your knowledge is going to be expanding and just prepare yourself for that because it is not an easy road, but you can definitely do it. Stay motivated. Anyone who is in med school, PA school, um, NP, PT, uh, undergrad, high school, whatever your level of education is right now, your level of schooling is, stay motivated. Make sure you like the program. Make sure you like the actual coursework because that is something that I like. The persevere, word of the day, persevere. You're never too old to go after your desires. You're never too old to go after what is going to be a betterment of your life and your family's life. Um, and if that is PA school, then do it. Don't let age stop you. I want minority students to understand and know that, hey, there's a huge landscape in healthcare and the PA profession is one of them that needs more of them in it. The only way you will fail is if you quit. So don't quit, okay? Don't quit, you guys. Keep moving, keep trucking, and you will be able to accomplish anything that you put your mind to. I'm glad that I'm able to just bring you guys on this journey with me. Like, it's it's been quite a ride thus far, and it's really humbling, and it's really um, just a blessing that I'm able to share this with you all, and I'm able to experience it. And so I want to thank you guys. So much for joining me on this journey and thank you guys so much for supporting me and um, we have many more to come and we have another white coat to come in two years so um, we're looking forward to the long white coat uh, when that happens. Um, again just stay motivated, stay committed, stay faithful and you guys will go far. as far as you can go.